all welcome back to the fire and water cooking channel I'm Darren and today I'm going to do a top sirloin roast uh, I got these a couple about a month ago got two of them and um, they were on a pretty good sale uh, I tried to do a video on a cook on the first one but somehow it didn't come together right so I wasn't able to put that together but I did uh, pre-season this this is about a three and a half four pound roast I did pre-season this with uh, my beef rub, salt, pepper, and garlic before I vacuum packed it, so which makes it pretty convenient. I've got my temp of my water already set up at 134, and we're going to do a 46-hour cook on this because uh, sirloin tip roast is usually still pretty tough, um, kind of like a chuck roast or a uh, beef bottom round roast, but uh, I still want to make this... Um, around medium medium rare so we're going to do 134 and I do want it pretty tender so 46 hours we'll put it right at uh, dinner for Thursday night so I'm going to go ahead and toss this in the water my water's already up in uh, temp and ready to go um, I'm going to toss this in and we will see you guys in 46 hours and then we'll sear it hey guys see I just it. wanted to kind of show you how I got the uh, that uh, rack in there, the IKEA pot uh, lid rack. Uh, see how if I turn it sideways there, it's holding that roast down. Even though that's a pretty thick roast on um, one side, it'll fit right in that pot rack. So it's going to hold it down under that water. Uh, these roasts, you know, that have a lot of fat on them, tend to float a lot. But uh, that rack, it's going to hold it down under that water pretty good. So I recommend those racks. They're like eight or nine bucks um, on Amazon, I think, and probably like six or seven bucks if you go to IKEA. And that's the I can't I think it's the Verisa. I have it down in the description in my uh, list of uh, equipment below. But um, for a uh, cheap little uh, rack for your CV, it works pretty good. It's stainless steel and uh, it does its job. So I'll see you guys at 46 hours. got the uh, roast out of the sous vide it's been in there for right around 46 hours and as you can tell it's got a lot of juice in the bag there and I'm gonna go ahead and drain that out of there we're gonna use that for gravy tonight I'm gonna make a real quick gravy um, using this and a little bit of wine and some beef stock and some spices so I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the bag and I got the grill all getting heated up right now it should be ready as soon as I get this all patted dry and ready to go I'll be back in yeah, a minute. I got it all patted dry with some paper towels. And I'm going to put just a little bit more of the beef rub on there. Not a whole ton because it's seasoned pretty good. So just enough to kind of coat the outside here. I'm not going to do both sides. I'm just going to do the top part there. So that's it. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the grill. Uh, grill's heated up to about 400 degrees. It won't be on there very long. Just enough to get the crust on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this on and I'll be back in a minute. There we go, guys. Took only about 10 minutes in that fire and it is done. Nice and crispy on the outside. I'm going to go ahead into this so you guys can see a nice slice in here cut the long slice cut it really thin here see it's nice and smoky there still nice and medium rare got up to about 500 pretty quick so, all right well there it is guys CD for 48 hours it's gonna be awfully tender I'm gonna go ahead cut off a piece you guys can see so, mm. Mm. very very tender 
tender. It's uh, not chewy at all. Pretty juicy. You see on here, still kind of juices coming out of it. I got that nice gravy to go with it. So we're going to cut this up for dinner. Check it out. Make sure uh, if you ever get a sirloin tip roast, beef bottom round roast, top round, anything like that, 48 hours in the sous vide at 132, 134. It's going to be awesome. Finish it up on the grill. And that's the kind of stuff you're going to be eating. So check it out, guys. And thanks for following us. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. Go ahead and hit the uh, notification bell so that you can find out when there's more videos. And go ahead and follow us on Facebook. We have a group and a page. Follow us on Twitter. Thank you.